Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. This video is just a real quick video to update you on a really cool piece of equipment I got. Been wanting one of these for a very, very long time and it belonged to a friend of mine and he was in a situation where he had to kind of sell some things rather quickly due to a move. He was awesome and gave me first right of refusal. Thank you, John. If you're not familiar with one of these, it's a 16 inch metal cutting bandsaw. It would be comparable to like the 14 inch Delta that you can see Jimmy D'Aresta and everybody else use working on wood. This one's primarily made for working with metal. This one model is about a 1952. I'm super excited to have it. Some of the things that are unique to these machines is one, it gives you your blade speed so you can figure out your, your blade cut rate depending on your blades. But this is so cool. These machines came with a blade welder built into them meaning that if you break your blade and you can't get another one in in time you can either make a new blade or you can repair your blade and anneal it and everything it looks like i'm missing one of the jaws here i'm pretty sure everything works we're fairly certain that it works this has never been used for this previous owner it has a blade cutter here to cut the edges square a blade grinder to grind off the trim after you weld it together this machine also has a built-in air compressor for cooling and to help clean the chips off and it also has a built-in hydraulic feed so this table it's not locked down this table will hydraulically feed back and forth to cut like a big block of material the previous owner just put brand new tires on it and kind of went through it a little bit cleaned it up one of the neat things about these bandsaws is that they have multiple sets of guides and those guides for the different widths of blade, you adjust the different sets of guides and they're stored in here. It has a lot of features in, in a bandsaw that uh, you know we're just not used to nowadays. One of these lines here is a coolant line. One of these lines is an air line. It has a coolant tank down below. It has variable speed so we can, it has like a Reeves type clutch in it where you can adjust the pulley diameter by turning the handle and then it has a three speed transmission in it. Um, this feed uh, is for your table feed and it also you can adjust the amount of pressure that you want to put on it. The table tilts as you can see under here, I don't know if this camera will pick it up but there's a, it's a tilting table, some pretty big hydraulic cylinders under here. And then it has a place that it collects the chips you can take off. So the coolant comes through here, dumps the chips down. There's a strainer screen. The coolant goes back into the tank, and then you can take the chips, the swarf, and, and dump them so it separates it for you. Down here is same brand new tire put on that wheel. He did all that. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about having one of these. I've wanted one for a really long time. Do all is still in business, but this is like having a 57 Chevy. I mean, it's just cool as frig. This is a chart to figure out blade pitches, what you're cutting, and your blade speeds and your blade feed rates. And this is a pretty cool little chart. It shows you how wide of a blade, how much of a radius you can expect to cut out of that blade. A lot of neat features. Another thing, this switch here does is there you could put a foot pedal with it and you could step on the foot pedal until it engage the auto feed so you could uh, foot pedal control it while you're working really super heavy duty built-in work light i think that's cool somebody painted it this 1950s shade of turquoise I, I didn't dig it at first but once i got it here in the shop with good lighting i, I i'm kind of a little bit nostalgic uh being an old car guy uh, I'm digging the, the, the 50s color, although originally you can see that it was painted a gray. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't. I, that's another project for another day, but I wanted to share this with you. I'm really excited about it because I needed another project like I needed a hole knocked in the side of my head because we still haven't gotten to the iron worker to restore it yet. This is actually functional. This this was in his shop working, so not a problem there, but you know how it is when you get something in your shop, you just wanna play with it, so it's coming soon. The one little kink in the, the work here is that my rotophase will run this machine. I have a, a rotophase, rotary phase converter, and I've been talking about, and luckily I have not yet gotten my American rotary rotary phase converter, because now I'm gonna look at upsizing that rotary phase converter so that I can at least run this 
in the mill back there or this and the lathe. So sometimes I have multiple people in here working on projects or some job I'm doing. You know, I'd like to not only be able to run one machine with the rotaface, so I'll probably upsize that rotaface. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching this little video on uh, my, my new little toy here. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook, please. Somewhere down below here is a link. See you soon.